Hi. 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 Hi, my name's Maggie. I'm Olivia. My name is John. And I'm Jenny. My name's Linda Daly. I'm a volunteer with ICANN. My name's Bob Monday. I've been a an ICANN furlough volunteer involved with the program for about two and a half years. I've been with ICANN for five years now in March. Did our training last August uh, to winter with Pat Clark. Best choice in retirement we've ever made. ICANN's tagline is unleashing abilities and changing lives on both ends of the leash. Referring to the life-changing impact that these dogs can have on both the inmate handler and on the client who eventually receives the dog. But there's somebody else holding that leash and that's the volunteer. Everybody has their own reasons for getting involved with ICANN and for me I've got kind of two reasons. One of them is that when I was growing up on a farm, we had a, a dog named Flo that helped my dad with the stock, and, uh, and he was dying of cancer at the time. And so I saw what a good trained dog could do for a guy who desperately needed it. The second reason is that I have a grandson with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. And one of these days I'm figuring that he's going to need a service dog. I got involved in ICANN in fall of 2017 through a club called ICANN at IU on Indiana University Bloomington's campus. There's about 350 members there and we educate, volunteer, and fundraise for ICANN. Uh, it's been a blast my whole four years of college and I am uh, the next I can and I you president. Our goal and our hope is someday that we will have a service dog of our own. Ed's had Parkinson's. He's been diagnosed for the last three years. And um, the emotional and physical support of a service dog just seems like a perfect fit. Over the last four years, I've had so many different opportunities to help out in so many different ways. Um, from outreach events, to fundraisers, to sponsor visits, to helping with foundations class, to litter sitting, all of the above. Um, <laughs> there's something for everyone and I really love that about ICANN. Besides furloughing and events, we've also helped transport dogs on the transport team. So we help take them back and forth to vet um, appointments. I participate in programs like Puppy Love Valentine's, Puppy Love Year Round, um, outreach visits to schools, uh, to scout troops. And those are exciting because you get to take a dog to those activities and introduce the ICANN program to new people and educate them on what it is ICANN does and how fabulous their mission is. Companies, schools, and other groups can request a visit from a volunteer and a dog. And this is a great stress reliever for employees because they get to come down and play with the dogs. But it also gives us an opportunity to um, have our dogs practice um, calm greetings and an opportunity to share more about ICANN's mission. Oh, we've also helped as litter sitters. So when a dog has a litter of puppies, we need people to come in and just get the dogs used to different kinds of people. Um, we have three elementary aged children. So they move in a different way. They speak in a different way. Um, and so it's helpful yeah. to get those puppies used to kids with their higher pitched voices and their kind of, mm. uh, jerkier sort of movements and things. Um, one of us can hold a puppy and our one of our, our kids can even um, do some of those things just to start introducing those puppies um, but as well as getting our kids just used to having dogs and um, knowing what it's like to care for somebody and care for another animal. And we help the litter host with uh, caring for the pups. Uh, of course is always cleaning and preparing diets and feeding the pups. From day one when these pups are born, they are in training to become service dogs. So not only do I furlough with ICANN at IU, but I hold a position on the executive board. I am a co-director of Campus Connections, so that means that I am in charge of putting on events all around the campus, educating people about service dogs. When I started puppy raising was my dad had two puppies, Forest and Wells, formerly Waldo, during the summer before, before I puppy raised Pope, 
And so I helped him with those two puppies and I just fell in love with it and decided that I kind of wanted to take it on by myself with a little help from him and it's been awesome. Uh, I've had a total of 17 dogs. Uh, I've had 15 dogs furloughed and I've had two puppies. Puppy raising just takes it to a whole nother level. Uh, it is so much fun, but it is so much work. Uh, much more work even than the adult dogs because with the puppies, we actually have to teach them some things while they're little. The inmates at the prisons are the primary handlers for the dogs and the dogs come out on furlough with volunteers like myself and we expose them to everyday activities things they don't get in the prisons, such as cats, motorcycles, construction, and everything in the neighborhood, and uh, different home environments. There's a lot of social interaction with the cafeteria and the elevators, and um, so the dogs really get a lot of experience, um, both with downtime of sitting at our desks, but, but um, also with, uh, with a lot of people around and learning how to uh, deal with that kind of stimulus. I'd say one of my favorite things um, is always getting to go to graduation, getting to hear from handlers who have raised these dogs and trained them, um, getting to hear from their experience, getting to hear them um, hand off that vest to their forever person that, um, that they're gonna be with for the rest of their life. I now work in an elementary school and for about the last two and a half years I've had the awesome experience of being able to bring the I Can Dogs to work with me. I love walking down the hallways and seeing everybody's face light up when they see the dog by my side. I feel like I really um, have been able to have a good understanding of the effects that facility dogs have in the work that they do. I think the most impactful part of I Can for me is seeing the clients be able to talk about how their dogs have impacted them. So at graduations, at wine and wags, um, I just love hearing about how the dogs can help that person in their daily life and how they really change their lives. And it's just incredible that people like us can do something so small to help somebody for the rest of their life. One of the many reasons I love ICANN so much is because of the unique individuals that come together to fulfill ICANN's mission. There's a lot of volunteers with different backgrounds, different stages of life, and different lifestyles. The ones who choose to work with the dogs each month get together for furlough meetings. And basically what a furlough meeting is, um, is we go to like a store or a park, even the ICANN office, or sometimes even the correctional facilities that ICANN works with. And we basically learn about the behaviors of each dog, uh, working with the director of training for ICANN. Furlough meetings are a really exciting time for furloughers because you get to learn from a lot of your peers. Some of those peers have even been in ICANN for over 10 years, while others just are starting out. I think probably one of my favorite days so far volunteering with ICANN was when we were working with Puppy Love and starting to create um, the puppy canvases. Um, so this is my first year and we um, had somebody kind of several volunteers go through and paint all the canvases one color and then I helped on the day that the dogs got to use their tails and we helped them use their paws to actually place paint on the canvases and make the Puppy Love um, art. So that I had no idea what to expect, but there were so many people, each taking different pieces, um, some people just bringing paint in, and some people helping to keep the dogs calm, and some of us <laughs> actually taking their tails and dipping it in the paint and then splattering on the canvases, and there was paint on collars and leashes and noses and people's noses <laughs> and clothes, and um, then we got to come back with the kids a week later and help bag those canvases up, and it's just fun to see all the different pieces all the people that it required to make all the, the parts of Puppy Love um, boxes and then deliver them. Um, so it was a super fun day. And we kind of every year, every couple times a year go, okay, what do we need to be involved in? Like, what are the organizations that we really need to focus our time and energy on? And yeah. um, we continue to go, yes, ICANN is a place that we want to keep um, focusing time and energy and money into. Um, I encourage you to get involved with ICANN. Um, it's a lot of fun 
the graduations are beyond belief uh, to see a dog that you've been involved with <clears throat> go to uh, go to their forever home and become uh, a teammate with somebody again who desperately needs one. I would just encourage anyone that um, that that has a has a heart for um, you know helping both um, people and uh, dogs to just consider uh, volunteering for ICANN. So we love ICANN, we think you will too, and we're gonna keep doing our part and we hope that you will join us.